Look closely. A blind man is being led by the hand onto the altar. Unable to see, he walks slowly as a friend carefully guides him to an area where he can pray. A friend continues to guide and support him as he struggles to find his step as he makes his way up the altar stairs. As instructed by Prophet T.B. Joshua, the blind man washes his face and eyeballs with the living water in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! You can see from the excitement on his face that something radical has happened. Yes, the man who was once blind can now see to the glory of God. He enthusiastically shakes the hands with the people around him, rejoicing in his supernatural healing. He makes his way throughout the altar all on his own because he is now able to see where he is going. Yes, as it was prophesied in Isaiah 35 verse 5, the eyes of the blind shall be opened. Indeed, the age of miracles has not passed because the miracle worker is still alive. His name is Jesus Christ. Let's hear the man's testimony. I'm John Mugra from Kampala, Uganda. Uh, my problem w was a tumor on ob o o which was on a pituitary gland that sat on my optic nerves and made me blind. I came when people were helping me to walk here and there. I was walking hand in hand with them. Now I can walk freely. My name is Adrian Mihambo. I'm staying with him in the same room. So we have to lead him to the dining room and everywhere he wants to go because he cannot see. And when we are coming this way to climb on the altar, I have to lead him. I led him till we climbed and we read the set of prayer. Then the ushers took over and they, and they led him. And of my surprise, when I went down, I saw him coming, walking alone, clearly seeing. I'm surprised and I'm very happy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for healing my friend from Uganda. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. My name is John Mgerwa from Kampala, Uganda. My profession, I'm a businessman. My friend here is Adrian Mitambo. He was he's my roommate from Tanzania, I had to walk with a guide who is a son of my sister-in-law who guided me up to here. He's a Seguja Stephen. Okay. So tell us, what was the problem that brought you to the synagogue church? So it started uh, like a headache. I went several medications, including operation, but all was in vain. I, it, it, I it saw, it, it, they, it, it, I went into X-ray cord, uh, MRI, it was found that I had a tumor in my brain that oppressed my optic nerves that made my, eye, my eyes blind. So, 
had uh, or be, being f- f- failed to work. We flied over here in Lagos. We want you to tell us for how long you have been having this problem of blindness due to this tumor that rests on your optic nerves. From seven years to eight years has affected me so much so that uh, I've been staying at home, being guided by everyone, a member of home, going to the toilets, going wherever I will go, to churches. Uh, that's how it has affected me. So you are always being guided because you cannot see. Of course, I can't see. I was not seeing at all. So now tell us what happened on Monday. Monday, it, it was 8 a.m., our coordinators around came into our rooms and were calling us to come to church. There was a procession of opening the altar of Holy Spirit. So my guide was not around. It was my roommate, Adrian Mahamba from Tanzania. He took my hand, we walked along, along together, and uh, we sat in front of the altar. In the meantime, we were dis- we, they dissuaded us with the uh, containers, telling us we are going to get living water. And during the course, the voice emerged. It was the voice of the prophet uh, T.B. Joshua saying, be ready, we are going to, you are going to enter the altar. In the, then the, by the time went on, he said those people with the problems in their eyes should try to wash this living water, it will help them. Then we proceeded step by step uh, uh, and uh, order by order until we reached uh, the living water. My friend took over the container we, I had, he tapped the water, I washed, I washed one time, second time, Third time, I couldn't believe. It was wonderful. It was as if I was in a dark room, so that someone opened a big door. I could see rights, I could see people, I could see colors. So Jesus delivered me. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering me. Thank you for healing me. Thank you for delivering my family. So now you can walk yourself without being aided. I can walk. I can show even the colors. This is a blue jacket, a black trouser, a black shoe. Where I'm standing, this is blue. This is cream. This is a white woman. Oh. Okay. My advice is to follow Jesus, stick to Jesus. He's the king of kings. He died for our sins and all our pains and diseases. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Adrian Mihambo from Tanzania. The man beside me is my friend Johnny Mugerwa from Uganda. And next to him is his son. When I came to the synagogue of Church of Nations, I found myself uh, with Mr. Mugerwa as a roommate. And uh, he was blind. He told me his story. He was totally blind, I could prove. So all, all the time, his son was leading him wherever he wants to go. But it happened on Sunday when we, we were invited to climb the altar. His son was not around in the room. So I said, my friend, Adrian, Lead me to the altar so that we can go to the living water. I led him up to the altar. When the man of God opened the altars and addressed us to climb, 
I led him step by step. When we reached the living water, after washing his face, the sec first time, second time, third time, I was surprised when he screamed, I can see now, I can see clearly. To prove that he was seeing, I tried again to hold his hand so that I can let him. He refused that I can go on myself. I can see clearly now. So I was very excited. I was very happy. And I'm very happy. I glorify God for what he's done to my friend Mugerwa. So what you are telling us is essence that when you are leading your friend to the living water, he was completely blind and he could not see at all. Definitely he was completely blind. I have to lead him. You, you step your foot here, you do this, you kneel here. I ought to lead him step by step because he could not see, not see completely. He was blind. So you are surprised when he washed his face with the living water and he just removed his arm from you and was able to see and walk himself. Oh yes, I was surprised. I was surprised and I was happy for him because I, I proved that now, now he could see because he, he could now walk himself in front of me instead of me leaving him as I was doing. My word of advice to people listening and uh, viewing me here is that you, they should have faith to God. There is nothing impossible unto God. Above all, if they have uh, problems which has, have no solutions, here in synagogue of Church of, Church of Nations, there is a solution because there is a living God here. I'm called Bates Stephen Sebuja. Beside me is my friend, Old Adrian, and beside Adrian is my father, Mugaraji, and my guardian father. My father was blind, blind at all, he couldn't see. So I could help him in any way, even when reaching here, I could help him in any way. Going to the steps, I could help him. Going to the toilets, I could help him. I could help him in any situation because of his blindness. Couldn't see at all. So the chances which I took, they are that wherever, wherever he wanted to go to the toilets, I, I was the one to escort him. And wherever he wanted to go somewhere, like picking something or getting something to eat, I'm the one to escort him. And wherever we could go to the flight, I'm the one to handle his hand, like, let's go, let's move in this. They, they get passes, they, everything mm. as on the airport, yes. I was the one helping him. On Monday, I was surprised because I was somewhere. I was in the bathroom. When I came back where we rest, I found him not there. But when I came here at the altar, I found him. And surprisingly, I was sitting. I saw him saying that I'm healed, I'm seeing, I'm delivered. Surprising, I never knew even he was at the altar. But I just saw him saying that he's healed, he's, he can see, even he can move by his own. Tell us what life has been with him. I saw him, because the way he was, he was too blind, even he couldn't climb that altar, but a friend helped him as he has talked about it. So even me, I was just surprised to see him walking, seriously walking with himself, without being caught on, but led by himself on that day. I was so surprised, and I praised the Lord Jesus. And ever since then, he had been doing everything by himself. Yeah, ever since there, he's doing everything by himself. So the burden of you have to hold him all around has come to an end. It has come to an end. Everything he's doing it by himself. Walking, no, that usual thing that we caught, we're catching him, moving around with him. That's no more. Oh, shall we put our hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ? From now onwards, with me and my family, we, we, uh, we thank God forever and ever. So you can I, see now. I can see very well. Mm. You are a man. Uh -huh. mm. You can look at that man over there. Tell us. Mm. You uh, see the man right in front of you? This, this man? Mm -hmm. Who? This man? This one is wearing black. Mm. Mm. And the one beside him? Is white. Uh -huh. It's white. Oh, shall we put our hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ?